Hey guys, Todd here. It's uh, Monday afternoon about 2.40 and I wanted to thank those of you who've watched the um, Todd Vlog episode 354, uh, the video known as the Cheddar's Incident. Uh, here it is Monday. It's uh, about 24 hours later and I am on the Cheddar's website um, writing them a message about our poor service. You can see here very long. I sort of recount what happened and uh, talk about being frustrated a little bit with the service and um, not much of a complainer in general. I usually don't like to make a scene. I'm not confrontational. Uh, I mean the least they can do is like throw me a coupon right? So I can that's what I'm thinking. Anyway so we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see what the fine folks at Cheddar's can do uh to gain back uh, my trust and my money. So, uh, emailing it at 2.45 and we'll see when it comes back. Okay, so you guys saw in the video that the day after the Cheddar's incident, I sent a, an email message through Cheddar's website to the company to tell them about our unsatisfactory service. And so I haven't heard back from them. Uh, but on the following Thursday, I got a YouTube message from a woman who works for Cheddar's. Now, I got a message from her personal YouTube page. This was not from a Cheddar site, it didn't have a Cheddar's email, anything like that. It was her personal YouTube page and I don't know if she was using like a Shazam app or something but anyway so she saw my vlog about Cheddar's and she said she works for their social marketing branding side and wanted me to send her my info uh, so that someone could contact me about unsatisfactory service. So I kind of wonder do I do I do that or do I wait to see if the actual corporate complaint side uh, yields anything? It would seem that using a social network like YouTube created a quicker result than using the standard comment suggestion box on a traditional website, which I think will be uh, interesting to see how it pans out. So what do you think I should do? Should I wait or should I reply back to her? You think she's a scam? think she's trying to get my credit card info or something? What do you guys think I ought to do?